Hey guys, my name is Pixie from Appy Builder and this is Beginner Tutorial 1. Today we're going to create the Talk To Me app. Before we begin, you'll need a few things. Appy Builder projects create Android apps, so make sure you have an Android device. A smartphone or tablet will do nicely. You'll also want to install the Appy Builder companion app on your Android device. You can download the companion app for free from Google Play, and we'll talk more about this app later when we live test our first project. Lastly, you'll need a Google Gmail account if you don't already have one. So it's your first time visiting Appy Builder. You've been looking around at the website and you're ready to make your first app. Click on Build Now to get started. You'll be asked to sign in with your Gmail account. Once signed in, you'll see the project overview. Since this is your first time, your project list should be empty. So let's create your very first project. Click on the Start New Project button. Call this project Talk To Me. Your project name cannot have any spaces or special characters. Once you've named your project, press OK. We're now ready to begin designing our app. On the right side of the screen is the palette window. By default, the user interface palette will be displayed. The items in the palette are known as components. Each component has an icon that visually represents that component's name. If you're curious, you can click on the little question mark icon beside that component to get more information about what that component does. Click on the button component and drag it onto the design viewer. When you add a component to the screen, it appears in the components window. The properties window shows properties that you can change for the currently selected component in the components window. Change the button's text to display the words talk to me. Next, click on the text box component. Drag this component over the design view. A blue line indicates where this component will appear. Place the text box above the button. Increase the font size to 24. This will help us see the text a little bit better. Then click on the media palette. Drag the text to speech component onto the screen. This is a non-visible component. The component has been added to the screen. It has a few properties you can change, but you won't actually see anything on the design viewer. In the components window, click on screen one. Change the action bar color property to any color that you want. We should probably also change the horizontal alignment to center and the vertical alignment to center so we can see our components a little better. Scroll down some more and let's change the title of this screen to talk to me. Now it's time to make our app work. Click on the blocks button. Blocks are kind of like little puzzle pieces that tell your app what to do. They are color coded by type. The more you use Appy Builder, the easier it will be to understand what each block does. Components that you've added to the design viewer have their own blocks. Screen 1 has blocks that are specific to a screen. Text box has its own blocks. Button has its own blocks. Even text to speech has its own blocks. Drag a button.click event onto the screen. Click on text to speech 1 and grab the dot speak procedure. This procedure fits nicely into our button.click event, but we still have a missing puzzle piece. When the user clicks on this button, their phone should talk, but what should it say? We can use a built-in text block and specify a message. But that would mean that every time we click on this button, the phone will just say, hello world. So delete the pink text block. Let's allow the user to decide what gets spoken. Open the text box component and scroll down until you see textbox1.text. Set this block as the message instead. Time to test the app and see if it's working. For this step, you'll need to have the Appy Builder Companion app installed on your phone. Click on Connect Live Testing. This will bring up a QR code and a text code. Open the Appy Builder Companion app on your Android device. You can manually type in the code that's displayed on your computer screen, or you can scan the QR code. Press the Scan QR Code button. The Companion app will automatically scan the QR code once it's aligned properly. Once the code has been scanned, it will appear in the text box. Press the Connect with Code button to continue. All right, looks good so far. Time to enter some text. Press anywhere in the text box and enter, you are awesome. Hit done on your keyboard and then press the button. You are awesome. And there you go, you've made your first app. Great job. Don't forget to visit the Appy Builder community where you'll find more tips and tutorials created by community members. That's all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and have a great day, bye.